everybody who says perch, this is the seventh time I've now stopped and started this video again. I don't know why. This one, I'm, I'm having a real hard time getting going. I, I, about four or five times ago, I started just counting up, and I'm at seven now. It's, it's, it's sad. I should be saving all the outtakes. Um, I would be pathetic. I, honestly, I couldn't listen to it. Uh, the, the basic premise is this. I'm now cutting to the chase faster. I try and lead up to it, and it doesn't go anywhere. So the, the basic thing is this. Uh, if I don't like a comic, and you do, I just want you to know, there's nothing personal about it. If you dislike a comic and I happen to like it, I don't get offended. I don't want to block you. I don't want to you throw you off the channel or anything else like that. I, if anything, I want to kind of learn why you disliked it. I'm, I'm curious, legitimately curious, not trolling curious. Not that, uh, oh, why don't you uh, give me your 50 legitimate reasons for why you dislike this comic? Uh, you're going to need to cite all your sources. And, and no, I, I just, I, I'm curious. I think... As I've said before, uh, comics like anything, like music, like movies, like anything, they hit you and there's not, you know, they, they hit you at a certain moment in your life. And based on what's going on in that moment, you could wind up liking or disliking a movie. I like the movie Fortress. Um, it is a terrible movie. I, I mean, I know this intellectually. I know it. Uh, but I had a very nice, sweet, romantic uh, moment with my wife uh, watching that film once upon a time in the movie theater because I'm old. And that, uh, and so is she apparently. Anyway, uh, and, and so I'll always have a fondness in my heart for that movie. Now, I don't expect other people like that movie because it is awful. Like, this is a truly terrible movie. At one point, I think uh, the, the, the lady gives birth, like, while she, they're being chased around by a truck or a tank or something. I mean, it's a terrible, it's a terrible movie. Uh, but I'll always remember it fondly. Comic books are like that. There's, there's no real rhyme or reason oftentimes why we like or dislike something. Lots of uh, gatekeeper-y sites will uh, love to, to tell you the science behind why you have to like something or have to dislike something, but it doesn't need to be that complicated. Um, it's always why I, I kind of, I roll my eyes when I see people go, oh, he's those, he's, those, he's YouTubers, or every now and then, so you're like, a perch likes to gatekeep comics. It's, it's so much the opposite. I want all barriers destroyed for whether you like or dislike comics. It's up to you. It's your dollar. It's your time. I don't care. But every now and then, and it's not that often, um, I'll say something negative. And, and mostly it's it's out of exasperation. And mostly it's not about the comic. It's about terrible marketing or it's about, uh, you know, some some dumb thing that, that's been going on. Or occasionally it's by, you know, remember when that whole Warren Ellis stuff hit and all these people are like, oh, my God, I never had any idea. It's like, yeah, you did. Yeah, people have been talking about this for like five years. In fact, in many cases, people are talking about this. And, you know, some of you people in the business were ignoring it, were blocking people, were talking about toxic fans, were all the rest. You were, you were doing anything but addressing the problem. And then finally, the, uh, you know, it hits a breaking point, and uh, now suddenly there's a problem. And, and who knew? Oh, everybody knew, actually. And maybe if we uh, protected each other, I, that would be better. I, I tend to get irritated at hypocrisy. I get irritated at the, uh, there's, there's, there's one channel, one podcast in particular, one website slash podcast that are huge, huge X-Men fans. And more than once, they have shown screenshots and screen grabs of these X-Men comics that are amazing and that only the, the, the terrible, hateful trolls, only those people are the ones who dislike these comics. And yet in the screen grabs, uh, they've got the read free comics online, a uh, little you know, watermark there on the art. It's like, oh, I see. I see you're taking uh, your comics from a pirate site. Okay, I see. I see what you're doing there. Maybe once could have been just an accidental Google, Google screen grab, but uh, this, this pops up kind of regularly. You are, uh, you know, you're, you're taking everybody to task for these comics and uh, you're, you're not buying them. Huh, how about that? And I'm not going to scold you for pirating, but if you're going to get on a high horse and talk about what people like and dislike and who a true fan or not a fan is, um, you know, then, yeah, yeah, you, 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 you buy the comic. Buy the comic. I, I would love for one of these uh, one of these X-Men writers to do a hard clap back at some of these people <laughs> at some point who are these big stands uh, but aren't actually buying the comic, but, uh, you know, wanting to kind of scold everybody for not buying it. You realize that when people don't buy the comic and it's one you say you love, but people don't buy it, it gets canceled, right? I, that, that, that tends to irritate me. Uh, but I take it very much for granted, and maybe this is just me, and, and maybe I need to do some self-reflection, uh, that 
when I say I don't like something, I'm assuming everybody hearing my voice right now that you're all making up your own opinion and you're looking for yourself. I, I don't want anybody uh, just blindly buying or, or hating or you know positive or negative. Definitely not hating. Uh, definitely not that one. On uh, buying, yeah, I'll tell you if I think something's quality and I'll try and explain why. And I do try and do this bit where I was like, yeah, well, if, you know, is this comic for you? Well, if you like this and this and this. I used to do this bit on uh, Twitter where I would say, you know, hey, uh, you know, this week's comics. If you like, uh, if you like horror and you like these kinds of books, then this kind of comic is for you. And for whatever reason, that would really irritate people. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. I think most people appreciated it, but a handful of people inside the business uh, would always get super irritated with that. And it was there wasn't, there wasn't sarcasm. It was like trying to match people up. I don't know, but. If you are, if you're listening to this channel and I'm like, like this, this hellfire gala thing, I'm not enthused. I'm not there for it. I'm just, I'm not excited about it. it it's not for me. It's not the X-Men era that I particularly enjoy. And, and, but you know, I, every now and then I do find things about this current X-Men run. I like, I liked house of X powers of 10. I've liked some of the scattered issues here and there. I'm not a fan overall. I'd say where it's going, but that's Okay that's okay. You might be. There's a lot of people who I consider very close friends with very good taste who are loving this X-Men run. And cool. I would say there's some creators in the mix who are currently writing or drawing this X-Men run that I consider friends. And they're good people and I will always buy them a drink. And frankly, I'll buy any of these people a drink. Now, I'm some of them I'm sure would not want to have any drink that I would give them. But all the same, every everybody, there's a beer for you, for any of you. And I just... I guess I want to make it clear here. Um, if I'm ripping on a comic and honestly, my, my quote unquote roasts of comics are the most passive thing possible. I mean, it, it's in this case, I won't object to the term milk toast. I mean, my, my negativity toward comics is, I, I, it's not, it's not strong. Mostly because I get, I bore myself ranting and, and also there are, bit, there are people who are frankly better at it. They can, they can do that. They can do that stuff way better than I have. They're, they're sharper, quicker. They can make these kinds of comments. Uh, but if if I'm doing a review of a comic that I don't like, I'll tell you why I don't like it. I'll tell you why I think it's stupid. But if if you love it, please don't be offended. Please, I'm just asking, kind of as the you know the the nice give and take, the the trust, the bond we have in this channel, the the mutual agreement. You're listening to this stuff. I, it's never about you. None of this is ever personal. Ever. Uh, I want you to enjoy comics. And even if there's a comic I absolutely loathe, um, I was not a fan of Identity Crisis. Um, many, many people were. Um, when I posted up the numbers, I was surprised how many people actually were saying how much they liked that comic. I, I disliked it a lot, I would say. Uh, a whole lot. Uh, but, hey, I, I'm happy if you liked it. I guess this is the thing, and, and this is what I wish more people would get to everywhere, but certainly people who are either creators or retailers, is learn to still love and appreciate the people who don't like your stuff and help steer them into something they will like. Because money going into this industry anywhere, money coming in is, is right now at this given moment, it's good. We are not anywhere close to the level where we can start picking and choosing what kind of money we want to come into it. It's it's too fragile and it's too weak of a, of a general economy of comics. We need more cash flowing into it uh, in general, just a lot more. And so right now, I mean, I'm not, nor is anyone in the position of, of trying to, you know, say, yeah, this this money is good. These people are good. These people are bad. Like, we're, we're not there. We need all the money we can get. So the more we kind of learn what people dislike, and I do mean it, by the way. I, I very much appreciate it when people tell me an opinion that's opposite of mine, dislike or like, and why they liked it. I, I like it. I appreciate it. It's I consider that a gift. You're giving me a gift. Now, I mean, coming on and just trolling and being an asshole, that's not a gift. But But in general, it's a gift when you're telling me the things that you like uh, or the things you dislike because I'm learning. I'm learning more about how to sell, how to do these kinds of things. And it doesn't, it, it, somebody who loves the Hellfire Gala, for example, I'm not personally offended by that. I could care less uh, about that part of it, about the emotional part of it. I'm, I'm interested why you liked it. 
And I'm hoping the publishers are too, because then they're, they're going to, you know, evolve a little bit and change up and uh, potentially, you know, give you more of what you like. And that's good. That's, that's what's going to make this business grow. That's all we can ask for. But I, I just want to throw it out there because I know that, um, you know, on one hand, people want to say, yeah, what do you really think about this? What's your real opinion on this? And sometimes I give it and then they're like, oh, crap, I don't, he, he doesn't like this. I, I, oh, man, this is really turning me off. I'm just going to try and level with you one way or another. I'll tell you the truth. Here's what's good. Here's what's bad. Let's all do that to each other. Life will be good. And, yeah, that, that will work. That'll be fine. Let's see if I don't delete this video. Thanks for listening.